The Zika virus, caused by the bite of an infected mosquito, can be passed from a pregnant woman to her unborn baby, causing serious birth defects known as congenital Zika syndrome. Preventing transmission of the virus to pregnant women and those around them is vital to public health. The Breakthrough Action and Research Projects, with the assistance of USAID and its partners in the Zika response, reviewed evidence to identify the behaviors that have the greatest chance of stopping the spread of Zika. The behaviors that reduce mosquito populations or prevent mosquito bites can also prevent dengue or chikungunya, which are transmitted by the same mosquito as Zika. The instructions for each behavior must be followed carefully and consistently to be effective in preventing transmission of the Zika virus and related diseases. To prevent mosquitoes from biting, women should apply mosquito repellent throughout their pregnancy. The repellents used should contain DEET, picaridin, IR3535 or oil of lemon eucalyptus as these ingredients are proven to be effective. Avoid using homemade mosquito repellents as their effectiveness is unknown. Repellents can be in the form of lotion, cream, gel or spray, but be sure to read the instructions on the bottle to see how to properly apply it and how often. An effective way to prevent sexual transmission of the virus is to use condoms during pregnancy. Research suggests that the Zika virus persists in a man's semen for up to 69 days. Therefore, condoms should be used for at least three months after the man was exposed to the mosquito that transmits Zika. To be effective, a condom must be used correctly and consistently during every sexual act throughout pregnancy. To prevent mosquitoes from breeding, remove any standing water around the home and yard. Mosquitoes tend to breed inside containers with walls exposed to rainwater, especially in the shade, where material like leaves and algae collect. Looking for mosquito larvae can be a good way to identify where mosquitoes are breeding. Mosquito eggs develop into adult mosquitoes in 7 to 10 days, so eliminating standing water at least once a week can reduce the adult mosquito population by up to 70%. Many items in and around the home can collect rainwater. At least once a week, empty these items, turn them over, cover them, puncture them, or throw them away. Another way to prevent mosquito breeding around the home is to ensure all long-term water storage containers are covered with lids at all times. Long-term water storage containers are containers that are used to store infrequently used water. Some examples include tanks, cisterns, barrels, water tanks, or large buckets. These lids should be tight-fitting and they should not warp or touch the water. If the lid is broken or does not create a tight seal and either touches the water or lets water in, then that lid itself can become a breeding site. Removing mosquito eggs from the walls of water containers will also prevent mosquito breeding. Zika-carrying mosquitoes lay their eggs on the interior walls of water containers, just above the water line. These eggs can be difficult to see. Simply cleaning the container is not enough. The eggs must be removed from the containers weekly. There are four effective techniques for removing mosquito eggs from the walls of containers. To see step-by-step -step instructions for each technique, visit BreakthroughActionAndResearch.org forward slash Zika dash prevention. Pregnant women should seek prenatal care. Prenatal care visits provide the opportunity for pregnant women and their partners to monitor pregnancy, clarify doubts, and learn more about the risk of Zika for their pregnant mother and baby and what prevention measures can be taken. To prevent an unintended pregnancy, seek family planning counseling. Using modern contraception protects against the risk of unintended pregnancy and thus the risk of congenital Zika syndrome. Family planning information and counseling should be obtained from a trained health provider who can discuss appropriate methods for each woman along with other ways to reduce the risk of contracting Zika. The Zika virus can harm the health of an unborn baby. By performing and promoting these behaviors, we can help stop the spread of Zika in our homes and communities. 
For more information and step-by-step -step instructions on these behaviors, visit BreakthroughActionAndResearch.org forward slash Zika dash prevention.